300 miles an hour. It's where we want to be. I've tried it before. Didn't go so well. We're back with Need for Speed Unbound. This is my skyline. And the skyline is something I have to use every day. Uh, I have to. It's... Uh, what What am I going to do? Fun little facts for you. I really want the hood that's on this car. And uh, I, I looked at it and it's going to cost me about four grand. Not going to happen for a while. Unless you were, uh, you know, super... <laughs> anyway, we are playing Need for Speed Heat. And the reason we're playing is we're going to actually reach. I'm determined we are going to hit 300 miles an hour today with the new Need for Speed <laughs> Unite update. As you can clearly see, there are some differences with the handling. That is for sure. Handling is a huge topic at the minute for Need for Speed, considering that Unbound is, well, it's coming out. And we're really hoping to see some changes. This thing is properly grippy. It's all the drive and i put all wheel drive options on it as well <laughs> i don't know why but saying that the skyline definitely feels rear wheel drive in this game beforehand and now he's definitely pulling like a damn train yeah. all good all good hey, yo, boost. <laughs> 250 miles an hour topping out the skyline you know that's kind of believable to be honest i have to say it's pretty damn epic <laughs> to be lapping them like it's nothing this thing is definitely faster. So let's get into what is new. In the performance customization, you can already see the R34 GTR is max. The only thing that's not quite there is the power. So there's been some changes here. The tires have once again changed. You know, part of me wishes they wouldn't keep changing them. However, this looks to be a better way to do it. So we've got rally tires, drag tires, competition drift tires, grippy drift tires, semi slicks, which is pretty damn cool. And the ones I've got on is the Pirelli race tire. Is Pirelli giving you money? I need to know because I would like some too. But essentially, these are the tires for grip. They're a little bit better, but overall, they give you the, the best performance. I think this was in previously, but you can change the differentials for all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive. You can really change the drive frame there, which is pretty damn cool. But the most significantly new bit about this is, it's pretty cool. Nitrous refill now takes 30 seconds, which is quite useful. But they've got a game-changing part in here, which I've been testing out, the drag kit. This kit makes every car way too fast it costs fifty thousand. we're gonna apply it to the skyline and instantly you can see we are in the tens just to give you an example if i go to remove <laughs> the best part even if i was gonna put super on there it's not even bugging down from the tens what on earth level is this all right let's give this a go i have to say i always play daytime that this definitely looks the best here we go starting off <laughs> oh my god Jesus Christ, 200 miles an hour, like it's absolutely nothing. This is a skyline. This ain't no Bugatti. This ain't no oh, McLaren. Oh my God. That's another thing that's changed is the handling mod. I have to say I had a little bit of trouble with it because I think they swapped some rally tires from being grip last time to now being rally tires again. It was a little bit confusing. However, these grip tires are awesome. I jumped between the simulation and the arcade handling. I'm using the arcade handling that they released. Main difference is I found is the arcade is actually much better to control. It's a lot more back and forth, but I, I kind of like that. It gives you more control over the car. You, you, you can fix some mistakes, and that's what arcade racing can it should be. I haven't really liked the Unite handling mods in the past before, but this is definitely their best yet. All right, let's find someone where you can... Oh! oh, my God. Let's find someone where you can... That's a solid wall. <laughs> I just want to test the speed. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to boost. We can replenish the NOS basically instantly as well. It's so difficult. I really hope there's some proper dead straights in the next game because I just want to test speed of cars. Everyone wants to. If you like cars, you... Peace. You got to test the speed. All right, let's use all this boost. Focus. Are we topping out already? Replenish. Replenish, replenish. We're doing 260, though. Holy crap. Oh, this is too much. This is too much. Oh, oh. Boost. Oh, 276. That's the top speed of the sky. Ah. <laughs> no. Right. Skyline's not fast enough. Because I still haven't got the ultimate plus parts. I'm just taking them off this. Can it be known that the, the level's just not moving? This... This drag kit thing is insane. We are 399 and I've got super parts. <laughs> Moving on to the RSR then. Uh, there's a reason I particularly want to use this and that's because it's an older car. The cars you make slower 
faster. Well, they have just a crazy effect that I definitely want to try because this is new as well. Something I love about this is how the drift... Sorry. Something I have loved about the Unite mod is how the handling makes the drifting instantly feel kind of heavy. Makes it so the car kind of swings around. I really do like that. And that's a, a depth that I would love to see in the normal handling. Now, this thing is obviously it's OP, but what do you call this? I'm going to pull my phone up and we're going to do a stopwatch. Watch this 0 to 60. Go. Stop. Ah! Uh, 142 Tesla in the bin. So literally the only reason I want to do this, you already know I love camera shake and most people don't like it. We can now do 200% on the camera shake. Hell yes. Now you exactly know what I mean based on the fact that the camera shake shakes more when you upgrade a slow car to be fast. So let's, I mean, not that this is particularly slow. Right, give it the beans. Holy shite. What the? F Please don't smack it. Literally everything. Everything in the way is going to be smashed. Till I get the top speed of this thing. Oh, <laughs> crap, crap. Oh. I am so sorry, Arisa. It's fine. So that was, uh, that was easy. You know, it's a good crash when it takes about 20 minutes to load. What in the Jesus? There must be some kind of hard lock that we're really struggling to pass. We got to pass 300, but this thing feels like it should fly to four, 500 plus. I'm blaming Frostbite, all right? <laughs> I'm blaming Frostbite. Frostbite, you... Ah! <laughs> Where's the bridge? I'm, I don't even need NOS to get 300 in this thing. No, no, lose my speed right before the pissing bridge. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, go on the wrong side. No, it's fine. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I can't see what speed I'm going. Replenish the NOS. Go! Please, please. Uphill 305, 307. We're going to we're gonna do down. We're going to do down. Oh! I got 310. I definitely got 310 there. I am taking that 310. Right. This is where we get down to business then, folks. We have tried a couple of cars, both of which have been on. Say hello to my Koenigsegg Regera. Definitely was one of the OP cars from Need for Speed Payback, but she got put into the bin quite significantly. Thanks, Ghost. Much appreciated. Uh, anyway, we'll gloss over the fact they could have done the same with the RSR, but didn't. Let's... <laughs> Let's do the drag kit on this. I want to see what speed we can get. Realistically, this should have the fastest top speed of the cars. I know there's give or take. You can say, oh, well, it requires NOS to do it. Doesn't matter. We got big NOS. Now, you can already see it's all 10s other than NOS. And we haven't even put all the parts on it yet. So <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. We're going to go for the power shot. Got some upgraded brakes. That will be very handy. And of course, the tires. So the tires, we actually have Pirelli race tires or drag tires. In my head, I don't know if we can actually get any more from it. But we should probably go for the drag tires just to max it out this stupid thing is gonna be a nightmare it doesn't turn as is and i've decided yeah, yeah, yeah let's put drag tires on it if i fail so much oh my god that slide there if it fails so much we're just gonna have to throw on the normal tires but we're talking about speed and power oh my god we're sliding a little bit there there's a little bit of oversteer that's oh my goodness oh my goodness the regera is turning all right boost here we go 200, 300. Why do I hit stuff every time? Because I am a baboon. How about I just don't look at the speedo? I literally just looked at the speedo. Here we go. That's it. That's it. Where's my like 400 miles an hour? I, got, I expected better than this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Replenish. Replenish. Boost. Boost. Ah! 310, ladies and gents. <laughs> 310 miles an hour. There's a hell of a lot more stuff to check out in the Need for Speed Unite mod updates, including the police, which we still need those ultimate plus parts. So if you want to see that, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. If you know any faster cars, let me know down in the comments. And hopefully in Unbound, we can break 300 like it's nobody's business. Smash like, subscribe, and check out this video. You may be interested. Peace.